We're just trying to help you younger fans. That's it. Good? Alright, we got Tank Davis. Tank, Tank Davis. Davis in the building. Yeah. We're at the... This is Mayweather's gym. So it's, yeah, this, so this is where you train at. Mayweather slash my gym. By the way, where's the? I'm not trying to be like whatever. But where's the? Is there air conditioning in this place? Does he give any? <laughs> does he turn the fucking air conditioning on? <laughs> no. I walked in here. It's literally a fucking sauna tank. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely is. All his money's going to fund his strip club now, and not the gym, or what? <laughs> yeah, I wish I was at a strip club. <laughs> you like strip clubs? No. No, I can't. I can't. I can't do them. It's a waste of money. Strip clubs are the biggest waste of money on planet Earth. Have you ever been to Mayweather Strip Club? No, I haven't. No. I don't go to. I did what I did it once, and I spent way too much money, and I kicked my. Nothing happened at the end of the night, and I just realized I spent all this money and threw money in the air, and I'm like, where the fuck did the money go? It went on the ground, and these girls just picked it up, yeah. and I was like, it's gone now. So yeah. strip clubs really are my my thing. It definitely, it definitely be like that sometimes. Yeah, a hundred percent. No ass. But anyways, good luck uh, coming up here. You have uh, you have uh, Isaac Cruz. Yes, sir. Coming up, you excited? I'm definitely excited. This is my first time fighting at uh, the Staples Center, so. That's Damn. On a Sunday, so we gotta pull up to that. We're gonna pull up to it, 100. percent What does what this fight like? Kind of like mean to you, as opposed to like other fights? Uh, you say it's like tough or no? Yeah, definitely tough. I, well, I don't know till I get in there, but just the whole thing like going on, like me fighting at uh, the Stable Center on a Sunday, I gotta adapt to like who I see in the crowd, how the crowd is, how the the arena, that's overall, that's like a football player when he's about to, you know, go into the arena or a basketball player. Would like you that. say you, you fight better when the crowd's against you? I, I'm not sure. I, I fight better when I feel like my back against the wall. Like mm -hmm. when I feel like the whole, when people, when I think, not the crowd, but when I pe think that people, like leading up to the fight and I think people that's going against me, I think that's what bring the best out of me. I hear a lot of athletes saying like they don't even like pay attention to the crowd or like they're so dialed, but you're like kind of the opposite. Like you actually like you like analyze the crowd as you're like walking in and that either helps you or I I to be honest, I pay attention to everything. Really? To everything. Like even me just on a press call like on a call with him, I just pay I pay attention to everything. Just to fill out to see how everything gonna play out. I like to pay attention. Even now, like this period in life, but I make sure I pay attention to you know everything. Is he is he an easier opponent? You think Cruz and the guy you're supposed to fight for, Rolly? I don't think he's an easier opponent because of his style of fight. He's coming in, he's throwing a lot of punches. He he can hit, you know, and uh, he come forward, you know. So I think that he he's not an easy opponent. Our assistant That's Gabe, Gabe looking, way. Gabe looking to get his up. screen time. He's just shoving it in your face. You can yeah. tell the fuck off at any time. <laughs> yeah. at any given he just time. likes to be on camera. <laughs> Do you train like specifically like for an opponent? Does that like fuck shit up when an opponent pulls out? To be honest, I work out to better myself. It's never, it's never to to fight towards that opponent because that opponent can change his style of fighting. But I just, I just train to better myself. That's it. And when we go into the ring, it's just like you got to adapt to whatever that guy bringing. What's like the regiment like like in a camp, like schedule-wise? People have people have like different camp. Some people just go away and be. But you specifically? Me? Uh, I just, I, first of all, I get a camp house, you know, uh, out here. Like day one in the camp, I start running. Start running probably like it, it, it's different times. I might don't feel like running in the morning. I might run at night. You know, it all depends what fit you. Like I run in the morning. If I don't, I, I run at night. Train probably like two or three. If I want to do something again, I train at night. Or I run, and that'll be it. But when I'm in camp, I really don't go outside. Like I don't, it's hard for me to go outside, so I just be. In a gym and home. That's it. Like, I don't go nowhere. What kind of runs do you do? Like, how long is, like, a run? The longest of... I just did a run... The longest run I probably ever did was, like, a... Eight-mile run. And that's, like, a daily thing? Eight miles? No, hell no. No? What do you... Like, what do you run, like, on a daily... Like, what's a daily a run? A daily run? Probably, like... 
Five miles. Five miles is the thing. How did everything start for you with boxing? Like, when did it when did it start? Like, when did you start falling in love with the game of boxing, you know, fighting, everything like that? Uh, So, first of all, uh, I came from the group home. Came from the group home. My mom, I mean, my uh, my grandma fought to get get me and my brother back, and uh, we was the new kid on the on the block. So, I was always the aggressive one. Mm-hmm. So I always was the one that was fighting. Like I used to fight my brother battles and things like that, you know. So, just fighting a lot, fighting at school. And one time I was fighting in front of my um, doorstep, and my uncle came outside and he was like, he got on me, and he took me to the boxing gym. You know, and I was I was getting love from the gym that I wasn't getting at home. So, you know, any kid, I just loved the gym just as because it had coaches. It had I had older people. I probably I wasn't the youngest, but I was one of the youngest. You know, so um, it it wasn't just boxing. It was just the love I was getting at the gym. Like it was like family type stuff. You so, love the energy. Yeah. So I kept going, and then I start actually fighting because I went to the gym. When I was seven, you can't compete till you eight, you know. So once I start competing, I won like fifteen fights straight till wow. I lost. So and then I, when I was ten, I went to the national. So at a young age, I was traveling and doing stuff like that. So I, I actually felt like I could make something out of boxing, you know. So that's how I just kept with boxing. So, so when you say the 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 group home thing, so how how did that all take place? What, because I read something that it was you were five years old, when was it you were? I don't really know how, what was my age, but I was, I was young. I was real young, and you know my mom and dad was on drugs, and my mom left me and my brother in the house, and I guess somebody called the police on them, and they and the uh, the people came and got me and my my brother. So we was, it's three of us. One of my brothers was already in the group home, and me and my other brother, they came and grabbed us, so we was all separated. Me and my other brother was together, but the other one was just, like, to this day, I don't know, like, where yet. Like, I don't really? talk to him and stuff like that, but... Did you, do you have any communication with your parents at all? Yeah, I love my mother, no matter what happened. I love my mother. Nice. And do you so use both. any of this stuff, as, use this stuff kind of as motivation when you get in the ring? Yeah, I, th- I was always the type of fighter, I mean, the type of person that, I always use something to my advantage. It's never like, you know how people use that, like, I ain't had my mother or father, so I ain't going to be shit. Sometimes I had that, that that mindset, but like, damn, like, why my father didn't do such a, like, be that for me so I don't have to do this. But then again, I'd be thinking, like, I'm happy, you know, because if he didn't do that, I wouldn't be here where I'm at today. Because you find that a lot of things that are important for a lot of people in life is having, a, you know, a solid mentor. You know, yeah. and so it's important to have somebody you can like, like lean on that can pick you up during times or inspire you in certain ways. So, I mean, who were some guys, whether it be early in your career, middle of your career, late in your career, who were some of your mentors? The one mentor I had, the one mentor that I, I had was Calvin. He probably here. Where's Calvin at? Calvin was my coach. So he was really the person that I had, like, damn, like, that I looked at like a dad, like a superhero type stuff. Cause when did you guys meet? When I was seven, matter of fact, we didn't even. I started with Calvin's son. Calvin's son started me off in a in a gym. Calvin's son did. He got killed. Um. I started off with him. Cause we had another fighter that was good in the gym that Calvin was paying attention to, so he wasn't really worrying about me. I was young. I couldn't even compete. So, Calvin's son used to come home and tell Calvin like. I got this boxer, so and so on. And Calvin wasn't handy. He was so focused on his fighter. So his fighter wound up going to um, prison for like a robbery or something for five years. So now he started looking at me, you know. So um, that's when, you know, me and Calvin locked in because we was on the same mission. Like my mission was, you know, to be the best amateur out there and his mention was to be the best coach you know so and he's still with you all this time that's pretty that's pretty dope actually all the guys that started with us they all did like everybody that was older than me that started with me they all got killed in the gym like it was probably it was probably like 
six or seven, seven of them. Like everybody that I actually started with, did. Really? Yeah, all the fighters. So did you did you grow up like in the hood? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Baltimore. That's like a that's, that's pretty yeah, tough, that's right? The, yeah. What was that's, it like? What What was it like there? I mean, regular like hood stuff. Just mm-hmm. fighting. Get older, you start other activities, and you know, but. And your way of kind of staying out of the that life was the gym and boxing. Yeah, boxing definitely really saved my life because I had an anger problem, and then any little thing that ticked me off, even now, you know, great. so great. That de- definitely boxing. You know, watch yourself, Bob. I know. I'm like, I'm like, there's one guy I can't fuck with on our podcast show. It's you. So yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Especially sitting so close here. But. Yeah, but boxing definitely saved my life. Bo- box, yeah, for sure. How did uh, how did you and Floyd connect? When did you uh, first meet Floyd? So me and Floyd connected once I had a, my old manager. I don't want to say his name, cause, but I had an old manager. He brought me to brought me to Floyd. I was young, though. I probably was about like, was I, like 18, 17, 18. And um, so he brought me to him. We chopped it up. But it was at a club, so... Floyd wasn't really, I don't think Floyd was really paying attention. So Adrian Brona, he he was fighting in Vegas. And uh, Adrian was fighting here. And he brought me in like one of his fighters. And then he was like, uh, and Floyd had a guy. So me and the guy sparred. And Floyd liked, like, liked the sparring. So he was like, he he had his assistant call like they was hit me like everywhere on my phone. No, I don't think they had my number. They emailed me or something and they was writing under my pictures. And it was like Floyd trying to get in contact with you. And I didn't even see it. Somebody in my comments like kept like at and the person like, Don't you see this? Like they trying to mm-hmm. get up with you type stuff. So I wind up, you know, um coming back out of Vegas and I was out of Vegas probably for like a whole whole I want to say six months to a year straight with Floyd like I signed to him before I even signed to him he was like doing a lot for me I doing a lot without even paperwork so I stuck with him you know and he got me my first world title at 21 I think 22 oh wow so I was at a young age I was only with him probably like a year and he got me my world title has he has he gifted you any of this jewelry that you're wearing right now no, nah, but he gave me a lot of jewelry. Not this, but what is some of the stuff? Like, how did he give you his first piece? He gave me, he gave me a Rolex. I think I wrote a plank. I ain't even know what Rolex was. He bought me a, a damn Cuban. Probably that probably was like a hundred grand. Right. He bought me a lot. He bought me a car. He got me in the house. He did a lot. He did a lot before I even was signed to him. Because I see a lot going on here, so that what's Why, on trying that? To start, this, this, you trying to start rocking ice, Bob? No, I would never. I can't. I can see it. you rocking those ears. No, no, I can't pull that off. <laughs> I think you could rock that. I can't that. pull it off like you can. No? <laughs> but I'm blinded by all this shit going on over nah, here. That's this, all I'm saying. What is that? What what kind of watch is that? This is a Richard Milley. Richard Milley. Okay. Yeah. And the earrings, those things. What what do those things go for? Hypothetically, if I wanted to go to the store and buy that right now, how much would that be? These like three sets of earrings, so they are different prices. All right. They're like, yeah. Ten thousand, fifty thousand. <laughs> they are over probably two hundred. You ever think you would get to this point where you could have all this going on? I always knew I was going to be big, but never so quick. I ain't know. I, I, my whole goal was to 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 be good at boxing, like whatever, be a world champion. Like I remember me going to like an amateur fight, like an amateur tournament. And they had boxing glove there, and they. They showed me the boxing glove. I look at the boxing glove like, hell no, I'm never turning pro. Like I'm a fight amateur, but really, you yeah. thought that? Yeah, I was, cause the glove was so small. I'm like, hell, I'm never getting hit. With, like somebody wearing this, like they can't hit me with this. But I'm here. What's like your overall goal? Like, what's your goal as like in this sport? Like, what do you want to achieve? I just wanna. I, I want to be. Like, it's not even just being just a, a champion no more. It just, I want to be a star where it's though my star power leads to something else. Like, it's just not boxing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I just don't want to be a boxer. 
You know, I want to be more than a boxer. I want to be like a, a, a star. Like, not just a boxing star. Just lead to something else. I don't want my, my, my journey to stop at a boxer. That's not my journey. You know, I want to branch off and do other st- stuff. Be a uh, owner of mad other things. Probably a movie star. Anything. Just. Why, just you do like, a little acting? I mean, no, but I can <laughs> get into it. You know I studied I mean? Shakespeare for a little bit. Huh? I could see you doing Shakespeare. You ever look at Shakespeare? Theater? Shakespeare? Yeah, like no. theater? No? <laughs> no, I don't know nothing about that. All right, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> I was big into theater and acting, so if you need anybody to coach you on the acting, let me know. Oh, yeah. I got yeah, your back might, on that. Yeah. 100%. Might so, Tank, how, how would you fight Floyd in his prime? Like, if you were to fight Floyd, like, in don't his fight prime, him. If you, if you guys were both in the. Yeah. <laughs> don't fight him. <laughs> I wouldn't fight him. I mean, Floyd was good. He was. He was. He was top tier. I mean, me, I feel as though I could compete with any top top fighter. I'm not saying me going at Floyd, but I'm saying, like, I feel as though my skills, I feel like my skills, and not to take nothing from Floyd, but I feel like my top, my skills can compete with anybody that ever laced up a boxing glove. You're you know crazy to watch, bro. Like, yeah. you hit, like, a fucking train. Yeah. Like, it's Appreciate fucking, it. yeah. it's <laughs> fucked, like. Yeah. So you think are you are you a fan of uh Garcia Ryan at all? Uh how no. is that even like a thing though to me? Like Maybe. I don't think that would even be like fair. No, I think that he's he's You know how he got fan he he's a bo- he's a he's a Instagram boxer. Yeah, he's a good looking guy. Like yeah. I wouldn't want to leave my girl I around say that. Shit, but like I don't no, know about when it comes to boxing, girl. like <laughs> it wouldn't be fun. He's a really no, good looking like, guy. Yeah, I wouldn't want to leave. No, he like, would. It's not oh, fair. You know, I'd probably be a little worried, to be honest. But with it with Ryan? When it comes to boxing, Ryan it's looks like, like a Greek tank, goddess. Tank would fucking <laughs> toss <laughs> him down. <laughs> no, yeah. he does. He's a good looking dude. I you're right. I would be afraid yeah. to leave my girl around him. And he is dope to watch in like the Instagram videos and shit too. Like he like he has fast hands and shit. He's obviously a good boxer, but Yeah. What about when it comes to like this level? It wouldn't even be fair. He can't compete with me. I, I people in the gym will tell you like I already, already got top skills, like a top guy, like top five type stuff. Is Garcia in your? I'm sorry, is Garcia in your weight class or anything? Yeah, so he, you, we, you guys are in the same weight class. We supposed to fought. Why didn't it happen? He pulled out. Why did he pull out? Mental health. Okay, that's what he said. I know a little bit about that. I feel that. like he's probably just not ready. They probably just think he's not ready. That's what I would say. Yeah. I mean, mental health is definitely... Is he is he on your hit list of fighting? I mean, I don't even know because... Because that would be a every, big fight, right? That would be yeah, a crazy it'd be, fight. Yeah, it, it'd be a big fight, but it's like... You never know with him. It's always something going on. Like Not to talk, but want to keep going on and on, but mm-hmm. just... It's always something going on with him, so you never know. How about uh, how about Jake? What do you think of Jake? Clown. Yeah. <laughs> He's a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got in the Tyson Fury uh, uh, Jake Paul fight? Or do you even Tommy. care? Tommy. Or Tommy Fury. <laughs> Tyson would uh, be the same result. <laughs> Tyson, I think, because he's... Can Tommy Fury even fight, though? Like, really? He I looks don't know, fucking like... huge, by the way. Tommy's I don't, jacked. I don't yeah. know. But I know that Jake can't fight. Can't so fight. He can't. He can't fight. So, would you look at it as a joke if someone, if if your team was like, "Yo, we want you to fight Jake Paul," would you be like, "Come yeah, on, man"? I laugh at him. <laughs> like, you want me to fight him? You think it'll ever come to the point where you're gonna mix into? I mean, you're obviously doing the real shit, but will ever mix into the point where the money's big enough? Yeah, would for you ever you to do take... a fight like that? I feel as though in my career I can't do that right now. Why I say that? Because I ain't putting in enough work. Like I ain't, I'm not a Floyd Mayweather. I ain't no Manny Pacquiao or no Canelo. You know what I mean? I still got Ashley to work to put in. That's like, that's like me in the eighth grade trying to like do something like out this world to yeah, somebody I mean, that's already did their schoolwork and shit like that. So I think that I should actually still gotta have my foot on the gas as far as boxing, like. Gotta yeah, you got to completely, completely yeah, take over yeah. and prove like, that. Take this, yeah. yeah. Like, if I do that right now, they're going to just they gonna look at me as a joke just as well as they look at Yeah, Jake you're on Paul. too good of a streak to just yeah, kind of sidetrack off that. Yeah. You seem like 
like a, you know, you're quite a, kind of like a quiet, reserved dude. Yeah. I mean, all this shit that leads up to the fight, like sitting here for an hour. I just saw you on a fucking press conference yeah. for 30 minutes. I saw you doing an interview over there. Do you hate this? Do you just want to get in the ring and fight, or do you actually enjoy the prep and all this media and stuff that comes with it? No, nah, I enjoy everything. I enjoy it. Sometimes I get, you know, um, I get like a little tiring, but for the most part, I feel as though I, I ask for it. I ask for all this. You know how you pray for something that actually come? You be like, damn, like, <laughs> this shit actually work. Like, yeah. you feel me? So I think that, you know, uh, sometimes I get tiring, but it's all for the, the better, the better myself. You know, I feel as though this is what I need to do to be a star, to be, you know, bigger than the next boxer, you know, so I, I always take it in. Even if I don't feel like doing it, I try to get it done. Mm-hmm. I guess that's like any job too, right? Like, blessed to be no, in the position a position jo- where no, in No, but stuff, a job so. is like, a job it can be, people don't like jobs. They do it because they, they have to. money or they have to, you feel me? Me, I do it because, you know, I love it or I ask for it. And then if it gets tiring after a while, sometimes I'll be like, fuck it. But You just got to push just like anything yeah, else. Like Yeah, for sure. So you're are you a heavy favorite against Cruz? I don't even know. I don't pay attention to that because I don't never want to think about like. Oh, they think I'm a so. If I feel like I'm a heavy favorite, I feel as though like. I take somebody lightly, so I don't even pay attention to that. I don't even like bet. I need to start betting. <laughs> On like games and stuff like football games and shit. I would expect you to have some partnership with some sports book or something by now, right? Yeah, I don't got none of that. Team, team. Can athletes? I don't think athletes can do that. Gaethje, Gaethje does for you. Uh, Gaethje always promote. I'm not an athlete. And pump say, no. <laughs> sort of How, What are all the are all these tattoos? They do they all just connect to one? You have a t- you're all tatted up all over the place here. No, yeah, I'm sure. it's like, it's so nah. many tattoos. You got Scarface on there, by the way. But listen, I see a lot of boxers getting that leg tatted. Yeah, because. Let's just say I started all this shit. Yeah, but what is... You got Pacino on there, right? Yeah. That's Al Pacino. This is my... I love him. Like, I could watch Scarface, like, all the time. I just like him because he, he was a person that... He lived in his truth. Like, he didn't... He didn't... I just think that he overdid it when he was doing, like... He started doing drugs, heavy on drugs. As an actor or a character? As an actor. <laughs> oh. No, not as a character. Nah, I like Scarface. That's why I was. That's why. Do, do you? How do you? How do you unwind with all this shit going on? You got all these cameras, everything, blah blah. How do you unwind? You watch? Hey, are you in any Netflix shows? Are you into? I'm into power. I'm late, but I'm into power right now. Power's power, a great show. power is my. Power's a great show. What is power? I'm sorry, I don't know. I, I'm just asking. What is you power? Can you explain to him? <laughs> um, it's it's basically a dude that um, I forgot. I, I mean, I haven't watched it in a while. I was uh. I was on like uh, I was watching a couple episodes and stuff. It's really interesting, but it's basically a dude that owns a bunch of like clubs, right? Yeah. And he's like into the whole like it's just a lot. It's a lot, honestly. You gotta like, watch it. He a it. drug dealer, a yeah, family drug dealer, yeah. that's everything. Yeah. Family man. Yeah, his kid don't listen to him. Yeah, his kids. Yeah. Bob's just religious knucklehead. to Squid Games, eh? I mean, I started Squid I th- Games. I watched three episodes. And I, I just... think people that watch Squid Games, this they gotta be like lunatics. Like, I just don't get it. Fuck? Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I, don't I, can't, I can't get into it. I don't it. understand it either. I can't get into it. People in, that watch Swear Games, they got to be crazy, like a little off. Like, Tell me, have you seen it yet? Have you started the watch? Have you given yes. it a chance? I st- well, I when started, did you give up on it? Well, I couldn't I get through the first it, yeah. 15 minutes. When people I started to get part, lit up. You, you couldn't keep watching? I watched the part when they got, like, when they was they had to play green light, red light, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I watched that, and then I was like, nah, I can't watch this. It was too graphic? Nah, it just crazy like i think people that watch that gotta be sick in the head jesus christ all right i'll stop watching <laughs> for god's sake here <laughs> oh my god what's uh so mike, mike we just had mike tyson on the show you have a relationship with mike because people don't they compare a lot of your yeah, style you can, do you have a relationship if you never met someone oh, no? you never met him not really but i yeah. mean what so, so you guys just talked online yeah we talked on uh we talked on facetime we talked on uh live that's about it but I see. We don't really have a relationship. I mean, he just liked me as a fighter as I like him as a fighter. You know, I think that top fighters, they they respect each other. You know what I mean? Like, people that's... I mean, I feel like all the legends uh, respect me. Talking about in the sport. 
I just wore the box. I think they, they gave me my props. Who was the coolest guy that ever reached out to you? You're like, damn. The coolest guy that reached out to me? Probably Drake. You boys with Drake? Yeah. Odell. A lot of, ad, I mean, yeah, a lot of athletes reach out. You boy, Are you boys with Lil Baby? Yeah, that's yeah. my boy. Yeah. Yeah, Lil Baby too. Lil Baby. But... And how, how'd you, how'd you He's going me? crazy right now. Who? Lil Baby. Yeah, that's my boy. I thought you meant Dub Baby. The baby's got some shit. Did you see his Instagram live today? He oh, that's some. That's two different babies. Yeah. Yeah, that's two. The baby one baby's went, fucking. The baby went off today on yeah. something. He went it was, it was something with. He got in a fight. Did you see that? He got in a fight like live on Instagram live. He went live today, and with his girl got in this. It's hard to believe that's real. He was live on Instagram. What do you mean, I know. Real? I don't know. Fucking. It looks kind of fake. Nah, he's really with it. I could tell. <laughs> I could tell. What do you mean by that, Slim? You can't really. T- if you go off of like what you see on the internet. You all have a different, like, people will say I'm a monster on the internet. But when you actually meet me, it's like, yeah, you see a different person. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't know if it's 100% real. I mean, he went on live and told his baby mama that she was just a side chick. So I don't know. <laughs> and it's like right when a single drops too, but I don't know. Yeah, it's actually, it's going. It's going yeah, you, can, you never know with the internet, bro. Because he could be promoting something. She could be promoting something. And just, I don't know. That's why I just don't mind, like, I mind my business. Because you never know. Like so, Y'all can come on and say y'all don't like each other, and it could be a whole thing for the internet. And I'd right. be like, i side with you and say, fuck him, and be like, the whole time <laughs> y'all just cool. And y'all just, now it's just, I made a beef with you out of nothing. So it's best for people to mind their business. So you try and stay off the internet? You you pay attention to anything? No, nah, I'm on the internet, but I just know how to, mind my business because I be having my own stuff going on so I can't you know I can't comment on somebody else's stuff you know a lot of people we not nobody not perfect but people play to be perfect on the internet everybody had their own problem so do people, do people fuck with you at all like in the DMs yeah did you get mad I'm, I'm I used to like write back but now <laughs> there's like, literally get, no point yeah. in doing that yeah, right? there's no, yeah. no you yeah. can't I do that too I, I, you you do it all the time. I know I do. I got to stop. Trust me. I got to yeah. fucking stop that shit. I mean, when like, when I first started coming out, I started writing back, like, going crazy at people. But then I'm like, I can't write everybody back. So now they, they people are into trolling now. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, like, if you, like, keep up with them and troll with them and shit like that, it's like they feed off that. So you got to. Yeah, block it out. You can't win like, if you respond at all. Jake he's Paul, he's he's not to keep bringing him up, but he like the troll. Yeah. So if you keep going at him, like yeah, he'll troll you, and people get like enjoyment out of it. So you just gotta chill. Now they're talking about Logan fighting Tyson. You Tyson seen that? Furry? No, Mike. <laughs> Oh my god! Like they're talking about that. Now. Yeah, but actually, too though, isn't is Mike a little older now? You think he would still? I don't know. Would, yeah, would I'm he just still saying, beat him? I don't know. I mean, didn't that come up on our podcast first or no? I could tell you hate this whole entire fucking. No, I don't hate it. I, I don't hate it. Really? Do you watch these things? Like when when do you buy the pay per view when he when he when Logan fights or Jake fights or any of these guys? No, not when they fight. I I bought it when Floyd fought. Yeah. No, I actually didn't buy it. We went to we went to like a um. A crab spot, but I definitely watched it though. Do you ever think these things are like fixed, like the the fights that Jake and like Logan? No, nah, hell no. You know, I don't think, so? think it's fixed because the only t- the only reason why I say it's not fixed because you actually got to do what you say you're gonna do. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think that they just be like yo go knock them out and shit like that. Like people put that money into it, like just as well. Like that's like they could say that this shit fixed that me and this it's a cruise guy like. It's not fixed. He's actually trying to win. Do you think you know what like I mean? what they're doing now is good for boxing in your in your opinion? Good for the sport or it's not good for the sport, I don't think so. You don't think so? No. In what way? Because it's let's just say like like me, right? I've been training since I was seven. Like I've been training for since yeah, I see what you're twenty yeah, years. You. Yeah. And then you got somebody that never done it before and put on a boxing glove and it can make a one million like 
That's crazy. You think it brings more like eyeballs and gets people more excited about yeah. boxing overall, though? No. No? Because they only going to pay attention to who they want to pay attention to. They don't care about They don't even know the other fighters. They just know this one guy that they paying attention to. Once they, like, stop watching him, they on about their day. That's like me right now. I'm a singer, and I like, like, so, like a fighter like you. And then you come in that box. I'm not going to, I don't care about who you fighting. Like, I like you as a person. You know what I mean? After that, I'm going about my day. Was there a rumor you were going to fight McGregor? Or did somebody ask you once what, what, about McGregor? Somebody probably asked me about McGregor, and I say I'll fight him. What, what at the Floyd? No, I thought I read something online that you would, that something about McGregor. Didn't you say you'd, you'd, beat, you'd beat McGregor in a boxing yeah. match? Though, right? Cause... Come on, bro. I'm a boxer. He'd lay McGregor out. Yeah, come on. I think. McGregor's on some shit right now, too. He bro- wait, 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 bro. He's out for how long? Didn't McGregor just get he got hurt, right, in the last UFC event? That yeah. guy's got to set a record for a Guinness Book of like assault charges soon. He just punched a DJ and shit. Oh, yeah, he threw he some stuff off. Yeah, I think so. Would you Would you ever tap into the MMA, like fighting MMA fighters? Or would you just strictly boxing for you? Like I mean, boxers? If, they, if they pay me, like, a, I know they probably wouldn't pay me, like, a, bo- like a boxer, like, a boxing match. But if they pay me enough, like, that I'm comfortable with it, I, I fight a, a MMA fight. You'd go into the octagon. Yeah. Because really? no one's done that You'd yet. You'd do that? Yeah. Really? But... Who's gonna? We, we actually, people have people have done it, but not recently. Yeah. <laughs> like you can't kick me in the face. Like, the, can you kick him in the face? And you yeah, 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 yeah. You can do all that. You got everything. Knees, elbows. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Take down. Take downs. No, I, I still do it. Cause you gotta think about it. I slip punches, so if somebody can kick me from all the way down here, I deserve to get kicked. You just have to choose someone that's maybe like not a big wrestler or some shit. Nah, somebody just yeah. I gotta fight somebody like in my weight class. Cause I don't think nobody like get me like somebody in my weight getting me down like pinning me like I don't I don't see that cause we use, I I'm from the hood like th- th- we used to wrestle <laughs> like that's what we do like what's the, first the difference thing in I gloves do, though sorry go ahead first thing we do is like if we can't if first thing we do we gonna swing and then from the swing we picking you up and slamming you like that's just say if I'm fighting right now on the street I'm not gonna just straight box you yeah. I'm gonna swing and then I'm gonna pick you up. <laughs> you going up in the air? <laughs> do you, did you uh, do you guys like usually just hash it out like back then like when you were in Baltimore like you just fight hash it out that's it like, like is it I more used of that? to be like we used to have like like a gang like how we is in the ring mm-hmm. we used to have like a gang of people that used to fight like oh you guys just all brawl each other I w- we was crazy bro I don't even want to say what we used to do on like yeah point you ever heard of point them out knock them out I think yeah. I've heard of that definitely no I haven't. Yeah, we used to do like. What want to that? elaborate on what pull it up, pick nah. it up is or whatever. Just I'm pull it out. <laughs> just Google that. Somewhere. Point them out, knock them out. Yeah, just listen to it. Point them yeah. out, knock them out. Wow. So someone points, and then you have to <laughs> knock the guy oh, out. Oh man, that's, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, it doesn't seem too complicated. It seems like it just is what it is. So, t- have you ever gotten beat in like a street chess. fight? I got jumped. I got jumped by my homeboys. So. We went to go fight, and my uncle used to work at a building, like a building that we was fight, like near what we was fighting at. So he called me. So I go, I go and um, see what he wanted. I'm like, man, we up here like doing whatever we doing. Then I ran back. So they thought I ran on them, like fighting wise. So they jumped me. So boom. So when they jumped me, I'm like, all right. The next day in school. It was school, to, and I I get up in the morning, I get all my stuff. I tell my uncle, like, I'm going in here, and, and I, if I see any one of them, they're going to be calling you about, like, 12, 12.30. So I see one of them. I take out my book bag. He was like, you shouldn't have, and I just stole them. I just hit them in his mouth, and we got into it. So, you know, my uh, they called him my uncle, going crazy, talking about, this one I used to fight in school, like, I used to fight in school like every day, bro. So there's a lot of detentions or suspensions in school. Yeah, I used to fight in school like. And then you get you, what, you get sent to the principal's office. Yeah, or expelled. <laughs> or expelled. You've been expelled. Yeah. 
That's all right. We all listen. We all have our listen. I used to, I mean, I never got expelled, but I used to try to make people laugh a lot. So I used to always do things that got me suspended in trouble. Never used to fight people. I couldn't do that. But back to the the MMA thing. It worked, we're, though. we're we're good friends with Dana Dana White. We were yeah, having we were having dinner with him last night. I don't know if you've seen those. You know the kids that you've seen the kid that looks like a baby. That's like Khabib's friend. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. he was telling us that. They're actually in negotiation to put... You've seen the two kids fighting, yeah, though? Yeah, yeah. Cole, you should pull it up if you can. Hezbollah. They're going to they, fight each other? Dana told yeah. me he's actually, like, m- trying to make it happen. And it would be over there? Hold in up. the octagon. They're older, though, right? They're, not they're 19. 19. They're 19 years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that funny? So they're not, like, little people, They're but they just have, like... I'm not sure what the disease is, but they're just, like... They look like babies. But And they actually don't like each other. They don't? They don't, no, like, they each don't like each other. Wow. I don't know. They just don't fuck with each other. Like, they There's... fought... They were pushing each other at the... You should find the video, Cole. Yeah, there's a video of them like on YouTube, probably pushing. Yeah, I each thought other. they were like three or four years old. I did not know they were. Yeah, they yeah I thought they were five, like, six years old. That's what so I they understand what they like. They understand what they're doing. I guess yeah. you know Khabib, right? Yeah. So the one, the one kid's from the same small Russian town, Dagestan. So I guess he became friends with Khabib, and now I don't know who this other. The other little guy is, but he's a little fireball too, and they're just fucking full, <laughs> full of energy, and they just want to go I, at I, it. I, I ain't gonna lie, I like him. Yeah, <laughs> this that is guy, my guy yo, right there. Yeah. He's fucking funny. <laughs> what he's saying though? He's awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. And look, these, look. What? These are the two look. that don't like each other. <laughs> Why they don't like each other, though? I don't know. I think I just love fighting. The, oh, he with the shits. Oh, shit. That happened in Abu Dhabi, right? I would buy that fight all day. Yeah, Can you I, imagine? Lie, I would watch that. I would watch that all day. That would be interesting. I just thought since Dana was against the whole, like, obviously you know, Jake Paul stuff that he wouldn't want to do this type of thing. But last night he was like dead serious about it. About but what it if they get hurt though? That's what I asked him. But he said, obviously they have to look into it with the doctors and stuff like that and see if it's, you know, I don't know. There be, is there a lot of knockout power in those punches? Or? I yeah. think the guy with the nah. blues, I think, I like, think yeah. the guy you liked would get fucked up. The other guy looked like he had some, he had yeah. like a good stance and shit. Yeah. It's funny how they're in a suit and they're like, they're like can you imagine? Beetlejuice? I like Beetlejuice too. Yeah. <laughs> Why was he trying to fight? Nah, he, uh. he he be always in my DM talking about you trying to fight. So back back to your shit in December. So who's uh is it, who's walking you out? I don't know. Who do you think should walk? You should me get out? baby. I mean, yo, Moneybag did that thing when Moneybag walked out. Uh, Little baby would be hard. <laughs> Little baby would be hard. Drake, I would like laugh for that. What? <laughs> nah, Little baby would be hard. Travis yeah. Scott. <laughs> I'll walk if you want me to walk you out I will I, mean, I don't think it'll probably be that good but would you let us walk you out <laughs> yeah y'all can walk me out but like, it gotta who the be fuck a, are these three nah but it gotta be what someone like I can't just have you baby you can't have us we don't, think we don't have no, enough firepower to walk you out no, the, hood, no, the hood's no, not gonna no, go crazy no, if no, fucking Bob Menry no, walks out no, tank you know <laughs> All right, no, I'm saying, Baltimore's gonna be sitting down no I'm saying y'all can walk me out but it gotta be like also an artist baby baby three of us little baby Drake We'll just be in the background casually. Yeah. Y'all could like, but y'all got to do something crazy. It can't be that. Y'all no, just we're not just going to walk you What little baby song you bumping if little baby were to walk you out? You like a know. Girls Want Girls guy or more of like a We Paid? Yeah, we can't listen to, I mean, I can't listen to Girls Want Girls <laughs> Yeah, walking out. It got to be like something like, I always want to, I don't want to give my strategy away because people... Wow, there's a strategy to the walkout? Yeah. It's a strategy to everything. I feel like Forget That by Lil Baby would go hard. I like that song. What's that? Forget That. Forget That. You know what I'm saying? I think you should throw people off you like the Jurassic Park theme or something. (laughs) Like, da 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 No. No? It can't be. No. (laughs) Harry Potter song? Harry Potter? It got to be something that, like... Can you... That would be... No, the Harry Potter song would be hard. I'll dress up as Harry Potter, and you can dress up as fucking Dumbledore, and we'll come out and walk you out. No, it can't be that. What? Oh. What? Is that bad? Do that? <laughs> be funny, bro. <laughs> Do you follow the uh, no sex rule during the uh, fighting? I mean, by the way. Yeah, too- I wonder that too. Yeah. <laughs> what? Because didn't we talk on I before? Wonder if he has a roster. Wait, who else? Who do we talk about before? There's no sex during the fight stuff. We just spoke to somebody. Jake said Jake. that now. And what did he say? He said you can't fuck around. 
He's not even a boxer. Shut up. Okay. Okay. You're right. I'll listen to you. So you I don't follow you. that? You can't listen to somebody that just started fighting. He don't even know. Is this your is this your biggest bag yet that you're getting in this fight? Is this your biggest bag? <laughs> As you stare at the earrings? No, I know. They're, just, they're growing bigger by the fucking minute. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I actually really wonder that. So you, you don't. You don't follow it. So like, Follow, the, just no, follow the no sexual, yeah. People is different. Like, you got to do what fit you. So like, for, for you, would, I mean, does it fit you? I mean, Why you switch to the sex life? I, I, I wonder. I no, I, I really no. wonder. Like, uh, does it I calm wanna, you down in the in the ring or I don't know? No, but if you not if you not have sex, right, and you train her, like, say as I train, like, for, like, four or five weeks and don't do nothing. Yeah, You'd no. be so tensed up that, like... <laughs> I get, like, 48 hours before to, like, get, like, pissed off or some shit, but why five weeks? Like, that doesn't... I don't no, think that does it's gotta be tough. Like, you gotta... You have to. You gotta. You, <laughs> like gotta, you gotta stay dialed too, right? Because if you don't, then you're probably gonna want to go it's, out it's, and, like, do other shit. You need to release some stress sometimes, it's, too. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a balance. I don't think just, like... Just stop like completely, but back in the day, fighters used to do that though. I just think they wasn't getting the ass. What do you do like? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. What do you do like after a fight? Like, what's the lifestyle like after like a W? He's just going to fun. hang with Hezbollah. In like, Dubai. how long do you just, just like not like? Yeah, train I want to go for... to Dubai, bro. Dubai's fun. Well, we actually we were in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi's uh, for, I I wanna, for twelve minutes. Well, you I want to go to Paris. Left, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep making that joke. Sorry, go ahead. I want to I want to go to Paris too. You win this fight. What's the immediate after party? Yeah, like what's after Where like a going? W? Like when do you? How long do you take off? Probably to the to the club. I think. I, <laughs> I think everybody go to like they want to celebrate. Yeah. Even if it's not the club, it's you're it's not going to Dave and Buster's after a fight. Right. right? It's it's something. You don't have to drink or nothing. Just enjoy yourself. That's like you winning a big championship. Like, that's only if you win. If you win, if you don't win, just sit your ass in the house. Are you enjoying yourself with the women as well? Like after a fight? Or are you just there to just have a good time on your own? <laughs> the fuck? I wonder. <laughs> no, I wonder. I mean, it'd probably be women there. <laughs> Definitely going to be women. I, I don't so, want to party yeah. with a bunch of... Full send podcast host. Yeah. He's not partying with fucking me and you after the fight, you know? <laughs> nah, y'all can come, but it's definitely going to be. Do you have to pay tough. that bill after after you go out? Do you, are you the guy that has to pay that bill or is it? I'm not paying nothing. Right. Nah? Who covers it then? Somebody else. Somebody. <laughs> it ain't going to be me. I probably don't pay the bill for like the, that next. The club probably does it, right? The club's like, come hang yeah, out. We yeah, want you to yeah. fucking come here. We'll True. stock you up, do whatever the fuck No, you but want. if you go over, like, say if they, they pay, like, they tell you, like, they got a set, like, they're paying you, like, 20000 to come to the club. Then they give you an extra, like, 3000 that you can spend in the club, like, as far as getting bottles and things like that. But I don't drink, so I get the bottles and just pass them out. You don't drink at all? No. Nah, I used to drink, but I don't drink no when more. When did you stop? Right before my last fight. Because drinking, like, drinking, it made me something I'm not. You know, some mm. days it might make me, like, loud and crazy. And some days it might make me angry. You know, I just don't want to be, like, somebody that I can't control myself. So I just stop. And then it made me blow up. It made me, like, gain a lot of weight, you know. so, And I'm a per person that always want to be on point, like, when I'm outside. So I can't drink and do all, the, all that. If I do drink, it's wine. Little wine night. Yeah, so red or white bottles of wine at the club. I think it's my age. I'm getting. I'm 27 now, so nice. Getting a little. Old. Yeah, red wine slaps actually. The drinking was like messing you up the next day as well. Yeah, like, like it was just too much. Yeah, that shit. Like I be, I get up with a headache and all. It's like, like a so. day's wasted, right? Yeah, I feel you. Like the hangover. You don't, you don't, you don't do you the, uh, the you drinking don't... really is bad. Like I ain't gonna lie, drinking is really like. If you drink, then drink. And then the whole, not to bring up the incident with the, the uh, football player, but he was drunk oh, when yeah, he... Oh, yeah, shit. His life went bye-bye. That was yeah. terrible. Well, yeah, the drinking and wild. driving shit, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. You were never a big weed guy. You only you said you only smoked once? Yeah, I smoked when I was 10. 
Ten years wow. Old. Yeah, smoking with my brother over there. Did you get like paranoid? No, yeah, I freaked out. <laughs> I've had the same. Do you see the football player blame like the fire department or some shit? Or the defense guy that was his like defense was that the what? the fire department didn't show up fast enough? Yeah, that's a terrible situation what happened. That was awful. Fuck, man. How she couldn't get out though? I mean, their car, I think, I mean, didn't I don't know. she like walk The car was pretty alive. obviously told us. He hit her at like 125 miles per hour. He was going 156 and I think hit her. That's why I said, that, probably drink. Well, he was drunk, right? Yeah. yeah drinking see? and driving, that's drinking, a whole nother level drinking of stupidity. Just period. That's just like, I mean, if you know how to dumb. control yourself, you have somebody that like, there with you, then okay. But drinking just, people that just don't know how to control that self off of liquor. And I'm one of them people, so I'd rather cut the whole, cut it off. Because I don't want to be, like, messed up or make a mistake that I hurt somebody else or hurt myself. So I say stop drinking. A lot of stuff, too, is the weight. You have to make weight and yeah. all this stuff, too. So that probably yeah. has something to do with it, And too. then it'd be like, if I'm drinking, like, if I'm not fighting and I drink all the way till I fight again, it's like I'm blowing up, like, 40, 30 pounds, now I got to lose. Then it's like... Because you had issues in the past with making weight. Yeah, you, making you, weight. You got stripped of a title for missing weight? Yeah, and, and stripped from money. What did you What do you blame that on? Drinking. No, no, it wasn't drinking. It was, I, I take that back. It was from... Uh, I ain't have, like, a chef. So I was out, I was out here eating Sonic every day. Yeah, Sonic. 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 Yeah, and, and um, slushies. Drinking slushies. Every oh, they day. are so good. Wow. Though. I don't blame you, dude. Yeah. Those things are so good. So no more slushies. Y'all don't like Sonic? <laughs> Sonic. Fine. I haven't. I haven't I, really. I, I haven't really. Eaten I like Sonic, Sonic like, like two years ago. I don't, yeah. I, don't know. I mean, it's trash now. I. I mean, not. Sorry. It looks. Why good can't on you TV? see Sonic's trash? That's all right. If you I feel mean, Sonic's I, trash, you can I might want to deal with pocket. them. Yeah, but there's many other out there. They're not going to do anything. Feel it's trash and don't do that. You know. You ever uh, you ever get pep talks before uh, before your fight? Like somebody just hype you up, you know? Floyd, Floyd, Floyd. He 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 remind me like not he don't hype me up, but he remind me like that who I, who I am. Like, what was the greatest thing he's ever said that's like stuck with you? Like greatest thing Floyd said? Yeah, he said a like, lot of things, bro. I can't really say off the top of the head, but he said a lot of great things. But he's one of your big, big mentors. He's the guy. So when you go to for, you know, he's your guy that's hyping you up before the fight. Yeah, he he's not the guy that hyped me up, but he's the guy that's, all, he's the main guy that's in my corner. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how, like, you know, like, like a supporter type stuff, like mm -hmm. your yeah. friend, like, he's one of them guys that make sure, like, make sure you on your game. Like, that's the guy that, like, I'm saying, like, fight night. When I'm in the ring, I'm at, going into the dressing room and all that, he's the one to be, like, always in my face. Like, he be this close, like. Yeah. He's that guy. I appreciate him for that, too. I ain't just really realized that to just now, that he is the main guy that be in my corner. So you're a new dad? Yeah. Right how was that? How was, how was the whole dad, um, dad I had lifestyle? A, Another uh, girl, crazy. You have one. You have one. Uh, one baby. No, two. Two babies. Two girls. Two, two girls. girls. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. How's that change shit? I mean, buy more guns. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I can't imagine uh, in the future dating your daughter or something like that. Hypothetically, some guy having to come to the door and deal with you. Nah, me. I just be more. I'm. I just want her to, she could talk to me, well, both of them, they could talk to me about anything. That's the only main thing. That's all I say. Don't never hide nothing from me. Like, you got to always talk to me. Because I'm not nobody to judge. I then did a lot of stuff. So, for you to, you know, feel though that you got to hide something from me, I think that's, that's bad. So, I will always let that be known for my daughters that just... If you, anything, I'm all, because that's how Calvin was to me. No matter what it is, don't hide nothing from me, but I'm here. That's how I think that I want my daughter that don't hide nothing from me. 
Yeah, they're saying you got to bounce, but so when's the fight? December 5th uh, in Los Angeles at the Staples Center on a Sunday. So We got to we gotta go. We should go. What is it, Showtime pay-per- pay-per-view? Showtime, Showtime pay-per-view. Yeah, make sure if y'all want to come, we get y'all information, so... Let's do it. I love that. Well, we uh, we we 100 support you. Wish you the best of luck. Yeah, don't know yeah, if you bro. need it, but keep it up. I think you're gonna Definitely do fucking. Need it. You need it. You need <laughs> yeah. a little luck. All right. Well, then we'll give you're it to you. Do some great things, man. Yeah. Keep Hopefully. it up, bro. I love that. Try we'll to. Yes, on to the sir. next uh, interview, the next fucking press conference or something, right? Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> I love that. Well, I appreciate you coming in, brother. Yes, man. Yeah, thank you, bro. Fight, all right, yes, dude. Sir. Appreciate it, bro. And we we won't walk you out. We won't hold you to that. Don't worry. But.